What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that allows us to quickly import external model files into SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so let's say that we wanted to download this sofa model from Sketchfab. And this is the Chesterfield sofa from League Studio. So if you wanna download this and, fo and follow along, you can do that by downloading this through Sketchfab. But let's say we wanted to download this file. Well, if we go in here and we click on the option for download 3D model, note that there's no SketchUp model format available. And this is typical. You're usually not going to see SketchUp models available for this kind of thing. But what we do have is we have options like FBX. Well, the problem is FBX is not one of the formats SketchUp can import. So getting this into your models can be a little bit tricky. So luckily there's a tool from the guys over at Lindale, which I think I'm saying wrong, um, but they're the developer that brought us Scatter, um, but they also have a SketchUp importer called Transmuter. And so Transmuter is a tool designed to help you automate the process of importing external models. Um, note that they are currently in the middle of their Black Friday sale. I'm not sure how much longer that's going on, but you can get 50% off using this coupon code. Uh, if you do wanna check out Transmuter, you can do it at the sketchupessentials.com slash transmuter. Note that is affiliate link, meaning I would receive a commission if you did purchase through that link. But basically what this tool is, is it's a tool designed to help you import and set up external models in SketchUp. So what it does is it automates the process of importing your model geometry, helping you set that up. So there's options in there for like simplification, other things like that, and then also setting up your materials. And then it's even got some advanced functions for setting up your objects for rendering softwares like V-Ray, Inkscape or Thayer Render as well. If I open up Transmuter, this is basically a tool that lives outside of SketchUp. It's kind of a standalone product. And what it does is it allows you to find a model file, browse to it, and then use it to set up the model to bring into SketchUp. So if I go to browse, and we're gonna go find that Chesterfield sofa. Notice how I've got an FBX file right here that I can import. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna give you a window that allows you to preview what this is going to look like. And so this allows you to set things like adjusting the up axis. So what that means is that means that's gonna take this model and it's gonna set it up properly. Now, one of the cool things that this has is just the scale model that lives in this SketchUp viewer over here, just so you can get an idea of the scale. So if you don't like the scale of this model, for example, you can make it bigger using the scale multiplier. We don't necessarily want to do that, but you can. And so notice how right now there's no textures associated with this model because those all get packaged up separately. And if you've ever struggled through this, bringing in these models, you you know you've lived it before. Um, you get this like source model file, which has your model geometry, but then you've got a separate file and it's got all of these different maps in it, right? And these maps are basically the material maps, but it looks kind of funky because they're all kind of unwrapped and placed on a singular image like this and getting them to actually sit properly on your SketchUp model has historically been kind of a pain. However, with Transmuter, all you have to do is just jump into the materials and notice how it references the materials right here. Well, all you have to do is tell it where to go find the color or diffuse map. So if I click in here, go to the textures folder and I go find the leather base color, notice how it's gonna take that leather map and it's going to apply it to this model just like this. And you can also do that same thing with the wood material for the legs. So if I jump over here and I go find the wood base color, notice how that wood is going to get applied properly to the legs as well. So now you've got this model that you can bring into SketchUp. And so one of the things that you can do, you don't necessarily have to, but you can, is there is a function over here for mesh simplification. And so what mesh simplification is going to do is it's going to go through here and it's going to reduce the size of the mesh. So it's probably not going to be a problem with this model because this isn't ultra dense. But if you get a model that just has like, like thousands and thousands and thousands or more edges, there's an option in here to simplify that mesh 
which will make it smaller and easier to deal with. Notice how I obviously don't wanna simplify that to 100% because it's gonna remove all of that, but this is basically going through and it's reducing the density of the mesh using an algorithm right here. So for now, I'm not going to do that, but if you look at the stats down below, you can see that you can significantly reduce the number of triangles for this model um, by reducing them right here. And so then when you're done, you can just click on the button for transmute. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to save this as a SketchUp file. And so once you save that as a SketchUp file, you can then go into SketchUp, you can just import that SketchUp file. So we're just gonna do an import, we're gonna go find that folder. We're gonna open up that Chesterfield sofa model. Now you might've noticed that that file was super big, right? It's like 61 megabytes. So you'd probably wanna go through and actually reduce the size of the mesh, um, maybe do some other things like that. But notice how I was able to bring this in really easily in SketchUp and it actually looks really good, right? It's got that like higher resolution texture applied to it. Um, it's now a model that's kind of ready to go. Now I would definitely recommend that you reduce and simplify this model when you do this um, so that it's smaller, but you kind of have the freedom to do whatever you want with this inside a transmuter. Now the other cool thing about this and um, currently I don't have I don't think I have up-to-date licenses on any of these um, softwares, but what this can do is it also has the ability to set this up as a proxy file for a couple different rendering programs. So for example, um, maybe you wanted to use this for a rendering, but you didn't want to show the full-on geometry in here. Well, what this does is this gives you the ability down below to check a box for export as Enscape proxy. And so when you export this as an Enscape proxy, what it's going to do is it's going to create a much more lightweight model down here. And so you could just set this to do like a bounding box with some faces or very simplified geometry, something like that. But the other thing this is going to do is this is going to give you the ability to set up those PBR maps. Those are the maps that are going to set the way that a model looks when you bring it into a rendering software. So you could set like your reflection map or your roughness map in here, um, which this is going to have. You could drop that in here as well as things like your normal map. Right, so if I click over here to normal, I could load the normal map in here. That's the map that makes it look bumpy. But what you would do is you would load in all of those maps and then you would set this to export as a proxy. And actually, you know what? Let's export this as just kind of a bounding box, just so you can see. But I'll name this bounding. And then if I do a file import, and I bring in the bounding box. Notice how it just created this as a box right here. But what this would do is this would load the full geometry over into Enscape um, with all those maps applied so that it would render out really nicely, even though you've only got this lightweight proxy geometry inside of SketchUp. So Transmuter does a great job of giving you the ability to export those external non-SketchUp files and get them set up really quickly. So I'll link to it on this page. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this tool. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.